And welcome, it's Seamus taking on Brock Lesnar for the very first time and it's happening right here in Houston, Texas. And this is gonna be a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. The big old block of ricotta cheese looking to do some damage on the vanilla gorilla right here. It's Minnesota taking on Seamus. And look at this, boom! And wait a second, Lesnar, the beast of the is, just took him for a ride and here we go. My goodness, pale as the pale moonlight, Sheamus looking to do a little bit of damage right here on Brock Lesnar. Going for the quick cover, he wants to call it a night, and John Cone with the one. I'm surprised he got that much. And look at this, Sheamus whipping, oh my, nice headbutt there, that's going to cause some damage. And a nice wide, my goodness, just really taking away the marks on Lesnar's face. Starting to get kind of apparent. Oh, wait a second. Are you not entertained? You're going to be entertained in a second when Brock Lesnar takes you for a ride. And Lesnar just tossed him from ring corner to post. My goodness, Lesnar. Uh oh, wait a second. Revigan's Island rolling him over. And wait a second. It's Big Papa Pump style. It is time to wretch the little guy and really show him who's boss. And look at this, Lesnar looking to do as much damage as that bear did to Leo in the Revenant. And Sheamus whipping him, and again, Sheamus not intimidated by the bigger, better WWE zone, Brock Lesnar. Although you shouldn't take Lesnar lightly, and you shouldn't take Sheamus lightly. Sheamus is a former two-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion. As recently as just about a month ago, when he defeated Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And look at this. And just clubbing blows. Oh, nice. Just a big left hand, and now Lesnar exploding. Just, oh my goodness, those ribs have got to be like mincemeat right now. As Lesnar continuing, just on an onslaught here. And look at this, that's like eight knees. You want to talk about Suplex City? You want to talk about everything that Lesnar is doing? And Sheamus finally catching him off guard. A beautiful move there by Lesnar. And Lesnar exploding out the outset here. And a kick out by the Pale Ale, Sheamus. I have never seen Lesnar explode like that with those kidney shots. Using the side of the femur to do as much damage as he possibly can. And the femur, if you guys are unaware, is the bone in the leg. And a nice power bomb taking him up and bringing him down. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, Pale Ale. Pale Ale just whipped Brock Lesnar's leg like it was a big old string of spaghetti. And now Lesnar, the big old block of ricotta cheese, taking it away. Now, wait a second. Nice forearm there. Where did, where did he watch that? Independent wrestling? Nice move. Nice move. That's all it takes, folks. After you go to Suplex City, you don't come back the same type of guy. What stays in Suplex City, or sorry, what happens in Suplex City, stays in Suplex City. A kick out, but at the last minute, and Lesnar is furious. He is irate at the results of that. And I think Lesnar's thinking exactly the same thing as I'm thinking. F5. Oh, yeah. He got him. F5, oh my. Just all across the ring. He got him that time. There is no kicking out right here live in Houston, Texas. Thanks for joining us. And look at this, Lesnar. He's ready to do it. Oh, and yeah. Oh, wait a second. Sheamus just kicked out of that whirlwind of an F5. And I don't know how he did it. And again, up and down, Lesnar. Oh, Lesnar, I think he's he's had it. He is upset. Wait a second. And whoa. Oh, look at this. Sheamus. Absolutely entertaining. This is a great match. 
and a knockdown. And Sheamus can't get enough of it. He's asking the crowd again whether they're entertained. And I think everybody thought that this match was over. Look at these two oh my the goodness. And wait a second, Heyman. Heyman talking to Sheamus. What is going on here? And Sheamus being distracted by, by Paul Heyman. Paul E. Dangerously. Nice spinning back suplex. That's not going to put away the pale ale. That is not going to put away Sheamus. He is a former WWE World Heavyweight Championship, for God's sake. And he fails to connect with anything that And wait a second, what is... Shit, wait a second now, come on! Oh, come on! That's not fair at all. He, 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 was, he was lifting Paul Heyman. Oh, wait a second, Heyman's been ejected! Heyman's been ejected! He's getting too involved. Sheamus tried to put the Celtic cross... On Heyman there, and Brock Lesnar stopped it from happening. And wait a second, one more time on the outside. That back suplex to front crusher, Lesnar, absolutely got his own manager ejected in that regard. We're live in Houston, Texas, and we're not being broadcast. And Sheamus, absolutely, I don't know what's going on now. Wait a second, Jameis on the, on the, what is going on here? Oh, wait a second. Oh, he grabbed Lesnar and he just knocked him down. That's what a move. What a move Wednesdays live on WWE.com. That's what that's going to be. And Sheamus again, clubbing blows. You got to admire Sheamus for his resilience here. Showing that he can just run with the dogs right now. He's running with one of the biggest Minnesota Vikings of all time in Brock Lesnar. Lesnar is a Viking. Couldn't make the team Minnesota Vikings, but he absolutely can make it here in the world of fake professional wrestling. And oh my goodness. Some may even debate that Lesnar never even succeeded in the US of C. I mean UFC. Wait a second, Lesnar. Flipping him around, and this could be the end. Uh-oh. He's going for it again. If he did that to any of the football people, he would have succeeded. And a nice move. Oh, my. Right. Lesnar, no need for the F5. And absolutely just took him from one side of the ring to the other. Pinned him, and that was it. Lesnar absolutely destroys Pale Ale Sheamus. And perhaps it was the distraction of Paul Heyman that started the downfall of Sheamus. He got too involved with the manager and didn't know where he was going. And it all it took right here. This is what amazed me. The F5 was planted onto Sheamus and perhaps he never really even recovered from this, folks. Perhaps he kicked out of instinct as Lesnar went for the cover here. And this is what shocked the world. One, two, and a kick out. I can't believe what I saw. And Sheamus continued to kind of just put the damage on on, uh, on Brock there. And this is kind of what ended it right here. That spinning suplex. A cover by Brock. Sheamus still able to kick out. However, it wasn't long before Lesnar took him. And look, look at this. Flipped him. What a great finish here. And this was it. Right here. And Kablamo. Perhaps a little bit of a nod to Sheldon Benjamin. Back in 2003, Brock Lesnar and Shelton were roommates, buddies even. And now Lesnar is much more successful here in the WWE. Thanks for joining me right here on WWE Live Houston, Texas. Peter Chow Games is what you're watching, and I'm glad you took the time out of your Saturday and join me right here in Houston, Texas. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Osai.